Assalamu alaikum. We have talked about three different approaches that can be utilized to control the speed of a shunt DC motor. The first approach is changing the field resistance. That is, we insert an additional variable resistor in series with field winding. And by changing this uh, field resistance, uh, this uh, field current is changed, which thereby changes the flux in the machine. And uh, if we can see from this uh, uh, torque speed characteristics, the equation which describes the torque speed characteristics of a shunt DC motor, that by changing the flux in the machine, this uh, line is changed. That is, uh, if uh, for example, uh, we increase uh, field resistance, uh, that will result into decrease in the current and that will in turn result into decrease in the flux. A decrease in flux is associated with an increase in the vertical intercept of this line and also the uh, more steeper uh, slope of the line. That is by decrease in flux we have these torque speed characteristics. That is for a given load uh, if we increase the field resistance flux decreases and then machine runs at a higher speed. The second approach to, uh, to control the speed of a shunt DC motor was to insert uh, some electronic circuitry over here which changes the armature voltage and uh, this uh, change in armature voltage uh, that is this vertical intercept of this line will change and uh, this thing will remain the same that is slope will remain the same so uh, by changing armature voltage we shall get a line which is parallel to this line. So again by increasing armature voltage uh, this uh, speed of the motor increases as we discussed in uh, one of the previous lectures. The third approach uh, to control the speed is to insert an additional resistor over here uh, that is uh, we change the resistance Ra uh, and what we can see from this equation is uh, by increasing for example Ra uh, this slope becomes more and more negative uh, that is uh, with increased Ra uh, this line the torque speed characteristics changes into this form that is for a given load if we increase Ra the speed of the motor will decrease uh, let's talk about the pros and cons uh, of all these approaches. This approach uh, is uh, not used very frequently because uh, there is a high armature current and if we insert a resistor over here that will be associated with power losses. That is there will be losses in the additionally inserted resistor. Uh, that is why this approach is not very frequently used. What about uh, these two approaches? This field resistance uh, approach as we already talked earlier. That is uh, if we for example extend this line. Uh, this one and this one. So one thing is that we are not quite sure what will happen with the speed as we increase RF. At smaller loads increase in RF will be associated with an increase in the speed. However, at uh, heavier loads, an increase in RF will be associated with decrease in the speed. So, although most of the times motor will be running near the rated load, rated load is much less than the uh, stall road load. Therefore, uh, uh, although in most of the cases increase in RF will result into increase in speed, however, uh, we have to be quite sure about uh, uh, the uh, behavior if we are using uh, this approach to control the speed. The second uh, thing that need to be considered with this approach is that uh, if we increase RF, current will decrease. And what will happen if we decrease RF? If we decrease RF, field current will increase and thereby speed will decrease. Here increasing RF results into increase in speed below this point that is near the rated load and uh, near the rated load decrease in field resistance will result into decrease in speed. 
However, that is associated with increase in field current. What is consequence of increase in field current? So these windings are designed to handle a particular current in the winding. If excessive current flows in the winding, there will be power losses and heating and due to heating, this winding may get damaged. So there is a maximum current that can be handled by these uh, windings. Therefore, the minimum speed that can be the minimum speed that can be achieved by this approach is limited by the maximum current that can be handled by this winding. Therefore, we define a base speed. Base speed of the motor is the speed uh, corresponding to rated conditions. That is when we have applied a rated load to the motor and when we have applied rated voltage to the motor. So corresponding to that situation, the speed of the motor, that is called base speed. So this approach can be utilized to control the speed of the motor above the base speed because increasing field resistance does not have any bad consequences. Increase in RF results into smaller current. So that is not problematic. However, decrease in RF is associated with increase in current. That is problematic. Therefore, this approach is utilized to control the speed of a shunt DC motor above the base speed. Uh, next, we talk about the third, uh, the second approach that is changing the armature voltage. Uh, we already have talked about that is increasing armature voltage. If we increase armature voltage, then speed increases and vice versa. That is decreasing armature voltage results into uh, results into decrease in the speed of the motor. However, uh, in applying excessive voltage across the uh, armature circuit, that may result into uh, breakage in the insulation of uh, the winding. So these windings, armature windings, are designed to handle a particular voltage. Uh, if we apply voltage higher than that, that is problematic because the insulation may get damaged. Uh, however, applying smaller voltage, that has no problem. Therefore, this speed, this approach is utilized to control the speed of the motor below the base speed. So, this is utilized to control the speed of the motor below base speed. And this is utilized to control the speed above base speed. So, in practice, what they do is they use these two uh, approaches to complement each other. Uh, to control the speed below base speed, this approach can be utilized to control the speed of shunt DC motor above base speed, this approach can be utilized. Uh, here, one more important point uh, to consider is that uh, if you increase field resistance, uh, that is not problematic uh, because current is uh, getting smaller and smaller. However, there is one another problem by increasing field resistance. If we increase it, it to excessive amount, what will happen? Uh, current will uh, drop, speed will become more and more higher, greater, that can damage the motor mechanically. That is, at very high speed, motor can, may get damaged. So, that is, uh, if uh, uh, due to, for example, some reason, there is an open circuit in the uh, field uh, connection in the field uh, circuit there is uh, uh, this uh, connection is lost then what will happen in that situation so let's talk about that so in this approach increasing RF results into decrease in uh, current field current and thereby increase in the speed as we talked earlier what happens when this field circuit is opened that is due to some reason uh, this connection is lost. What will happen? In that case, RF tends to infinity. This will approach to zero and then speed will uh, approach to infinity. That is practically the motor will gain very high speed and therefore it will damage the motor mechanically. Therefore, in uh, uh, bigger DC motors, there is always uh, an arrangement 
to disconnect the motor from power supply when due to some reason this gets opened. Uh, we shall talk about that arrangement when we shall be talking about the uh, starter circuits for DC motors.